you know, on the Isle of Man, the carrot root fly is oh, a real pest. Yeah. But you've got your own walls around here. That's going to stop them. Yeah. <laughs> I'm at the Isle of Man prison today and I'm very intrigued to see something that not very many people get to have a look at. The inmates here actually have their own vegetable gardens and they grow their own homegrown veg and fruit for the kitchens here. And on top of that, they also have honeybees here and their own line of honey. So I'm just waiting for my contacts to come fetch me and then we're going to learn a bit more about the program here and uh, go and have a look as well. Yes, there's a lot of space within the prison and actually trying to make sure that we use the space but also use it productively. Yeah. Actually yeah. growing something from you know, seeds and actually nurturing it all the way through actually gives a real sense of responsibility to actually make sure it grows and it actually comes to what we want. But in addition to that, there's a, a real sense of achievement when, you know, there's a, a full garden out there. And I understand that a lot of the veg is being used right now in the kitchen. Yes, in fact, we've, we've stopped actually buying in veg because wow. we're, we're virtually self-sufficient in this. Uh, the soup is something that we share with everybody because it's really good, it's organic. And uh, I think we have a new kitchen manager who's made a big thing of soup of the day. We also have a catering course and a lot of the veg goes for that. We're actually looking to have MVQs in it and actually make sure there are qualifications attached to it. So there will be an opportunity to actually have something which they can take through the gate and actually make themselves more employable. What is the most enjoyable part of growing vegetables for you? Seeing the outcome, you know, when you, when you started from little, seeing it until now. Does that make you feel really proud? It when does when you use it. When you see it bringing it back to the wing, it's good. So it's good when you're using it. Did you have any gardening experience before you came here? No, never. Just simple yeah. little things, cutting the grass, or, but I've never grown anything before. Do you think that when you're out, will you continue gardening? That's the plan, yeah. Do you think you'll get a polytunnel like this? I don't know, but we're looking for an allotment at the minute. We've got some looking for at the minute, so... We had all our plants planted out for this year's growth in the polytunnel. And uh, because of the security intel that we thought they might have uh, hid something in the ground, we had to dig everything up and searching on use the dogs. We didn't find anything, but we had to act on our intel and we had to start all over. And that put us back a couple of months. Also sends out the message to them, don't try anything because we, you know, we will be all over it. And if we have to, we'll dig everything up. Yeah. You know, we have to, safety comes first as paramount. That's so. right. I bet they were heartbroken though. They were. And for us, it was heartbroken. It was a lot of work had gone into it. So I understand you do a lot of research into I what do. you do. I, I read up on everything. I read up on absolutely everything. I read up on every single plant that's in here. I read up on, on it. And how do you feel about this entire program here? Um, well, it makes me, makes me very happy. It makes, fills your days in and you might as well not, you know, if you didn't look up, you wouldn't know the walls were there. It's fantastic. You know, it's fresh vegetables instead of frozen or tinned or... Where do you get your seeds from? Uh, I get a magazine every month which gives free seeds, Is Grow it? Your Own magazine, mm -hmm. um, and I have to hound the officers to get me seeds. I just keep badgering them. Tom. And last time you told me that you were getting some seeds from the kitchen as well. Oh yeah, we took um, the pepper seeds that you see here, that all these pepper plants here are all um, seeds that we took out of the bin. 80 odd pepper plants all producing 
hundreds and hundreds of peppers. And you've got some apple trees that you grew from seeds as we well. We grew some apple trees from uh, from seed as well there outside. So what are, what are your biggest challenges gardening as an inmate of Derby Prison? Uh, my biggest challenge out here is butterflies, um, and getting the the right getting the right seeds at the right time is a challenge. The vetting process for bringing prisoners into the program, what does that involve? Uh, this comes down to obviously the personal officers on the wing, uh, the senior officers who deal with the prisoners all the time, and obviously our security side. Eight, eight prisoners currently who work out in here, uh, and when we have 100 prisoners in here. But they all do, there's work in, in the kitchens, which preparing the vegetables after we've been done, uh, and obviously work to do the seeds and what else like so. So we've got the staff, these are staff salads. So these so are... All the lettuce is uh, grown on the prison estate. We've got, uh, that's a uh, green pepper that is also on, from the prison estate. What else can I show you? The radishes. So we've had a prisoner today, he started on the cabbages. This is going to go, all these cabbage leaves will go on the um, prisoner's uh, menu tonight. And we'll make those leaves into a soup in a couple of days till tomorrow. Uh, we got carrots out the garden a couple of days ago, so but we haven't got enough to serve the whole prison. Uh, we've got marrows. Uh, a whole lot of tomatoes. And these are the uh, peppers that they're growing in the garden and those tomatoes. So we've got a variety of tomatoes here. And there's the lettuce that uh, we'll be putting on salads tomorrow as well, so they'll be developed. So there's some beautiful lettuce here. Yeah. And would you would you recommend it for other programs, other prisons around the world? Every every prison's different and I wouldn't be so arrogant to sort of give anyone any advice because we're very lucky here we're a small prison and I can approach a member of the senior management team and get things done whereas other people I know will have to jump through rings to get things done so having that smaller of course group, yeah so that's how really helped yeah and listen this isn't me who's developed this this is other people it's just that I think that we should be using stuff that we do that's it Getting out in the fresh air is important, there's no doubt about that, but getting out and doing something constructive is, is equally important. The kitchen also, is, as we're seeing now, as a, a progression to be able to work outside the prison. So we've actually had a prisoner who's graduated from the kitchen and has actually worked in the kitchen on the outside. And that in terms of actually resettlement and employability, uh, and they've been offered a job on the back of it. If an offender actually has accommodation and work to go to. All the statistics are heavily in favour of actually not returning, something like 95%. Mm -hmm.